Well, welcome back to the channel. A question that I get at least once or twice a week, and I've answered a hundred times on the forums, is how to set up multi-screen touchscreen monitors. You know, I love to use those in home cockpits because they're so flexible, and they don't lock you into one design, and they're very realistic. Uh, but sometimes there's some confusion about how to set up the touch uh, for the multiple monitors. So I'm going to explain that in this quick video. So the problem is that the touch grid that is a USB signal to the computer in the video monitor are not related. They may be physically attached to one another, but the computer doesn't know how they're related. Windows sees them as separate pieces of hardware. Now if there's just a single touchscreen monitor, Windows of course assumes that the touch grid is associated with the monitor that is there and aligns the upper left corners of the monitor and the touchscreen uh, for determining where to make the inputs on the monitor in response to touchscreen inputs. In the case where you have only one touchscreen detected, but there are two monitors, Windows assumes that the touchscreen is associated with the main monitor. That might not necessarily be the monitor with the touchscreen attached to it, but that's what Windows assumes, unless told otherwise. As long as you have designated the touchscreen as your main monitor, it'll work fine and there's no further setup required. The real problem arises when you have two touch screens. So there's two touch grids and two monitors involved and Windows just doesn't know how to associate those two. You need to tell it which monitor is connected to which touch grid. So let's see how this is done. It's quite simple. First you need to enter Windows settings and open the settings and type in to search for the word calibrate. If a touch screen is detected the pop-up menu will offer calibrate the screen for pin or touch input. You want to select that and it will open a dialog. You want to click the configure setup button at the top. When you click that it will cause all of your monitor screens to turn white and this message here will be shown on each monitor one at a time. As you can see it says tap the screen with a single finger to identify it as a touch screen. If the screen displaying the text is not a touch screen you just hit the enter key to move on to the next screen. Once you've cycled through all the monitors, the process is complete. Windows will then know how to associate touch inputs with the correct monitor and everything should work fine. This all works great in Windows 11 too, although the menus and screens might look slightly different. Thanks for watching this short tutorial. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and appreciate any comments that you might have for future videos you'd like to see or how I might improve my videos. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.